Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. I just don't want to work that hard anymore. Let's get started and talk about it. Many of you know that I do work from home and I do three different jobs. I have YouTube, I'm a project manager, and actually four days out of the week I work outside the home and I do product demonstrations. The good news is I'm in a really good place right now because I really enjoy the companies that I schedule and do project management with for mystery shopping. I love YouTube and I love being a product demonstrator. So I'm really happy. But there's been times in the past where I've had very stressful work environments and it was very tense and I just, it was not a good fit for me. Let me just say that. So I thought to myself, you know, I don't know if many of you agree. I understand that some of you may still be working. Some of you may be retired. I'd love to hear about that in the comments below if you want to share your work experience with me. But I've had all different kinds of jobs in my life. Some I've really enjoyed. Some, like I said, weren't a good fit. And that's okay. Hey, they're all learning experiences. Right now, I'm 57. I'll be 58 in March. I'm at the stage of my life where I want work to be low stress and have a high enjoyment or maybe even a fun factor. I actually find scheduling mystery shopping, doing YouTube, and doing product demonstrations, I actually find them fun. So I started researching all sorts of fun jobs. And I wrote down 12 and I actually did or have done a few of these. I want to know, would you guys do any of these jobs? The first one, professional cuddler. I thought that was cute. Hey, I love loving on people. The funny thing is though, is I saw an article not far from that article about professional cuddling about somebody who had a pet alligator that likes to be loved held and cuddled. And I thought to myself, I don't know if I would do that when any of you cuddle and love on an alligator. I thought, well, I think that alligator would take one look at me and say, hmm, she looks like a tasty meal. She's got a lot of meat on her bones. So I don't know if I would love on an alligator, but hey, I love loving on people and I like to be a source of encouragement. So I think that could be an enjoyable job. Number two, mystery shopper. I've done lots of mystery shopping. I enjoy doing it. I just don't enjoy doing anything with doing a long narrative, but I enjoy short, easy, fun shops. Number three, I've never done this one, but I think it would be a blast as long as I wasn't in a hot environment. You guys know I'm originally from Minnesota, living in Texas. I don't do well in hot, humid weather or even hot, dry is better, but I'm not a fan of when it gets to be over 85 degrees. Let me just say that or 90 degrees for sure. Okay, but camp counselor would be fun. Number four, this would be a blast. Being a tour guide. I love taking tours. Super fun, especially, you know, things that are like history type museums or old homes. I enjoy history. I love to do the tours. I think it would be really fun to be a tour guide. Let me know if any of you would do that. Number five, I would love to do this for all age groups. Activities coordinator planning fun activities to keep people busy. I have volunteered before in a nursing home or assisted living. I would love to be an activities coordinator in a nursing home or possibly assisted living. And one of the things I would love to do, which I did when I volunteered, is I would want to go to the rooms where people maybe aren't socializing and see if I could get them to socialize with the other residents. And, you know, because some people are feeling lonely, they are sad because they want to be in their home. So I'd want to do things that I could to cheer them up and get them to do fun activities with the rest of the group. So I would love to do that. That would be a blast. Okay, number six, YouTuber. I love that. I'm hoping to do this. If the good Lord has me live to be age 100, I'm hoping to be the oldest YouTuber out there. Okay, number seven, product demonstration. I mean, I think God made that job for me. You can actually, it's so funny because not all the time, but people will say to me, hey, I heard you on the other side of the store um, yelling out to people to come try samples. You can hear me all over the store but I have a lot of fun and I get to help the customers find products around the store. People can't find things. So it's just a blast. And I get to help the staff if they need anything. It's just really fun working with people and helping people out. So passing out samples and promoting products is a blast. Okay. This would be really fun. You all know this would be great. Food critic. The one would thing that would be a blast is if you have like a favorite food, like one of my favorite things is popcorn, maybe testing different ice creams or popcorns or wine if you like wine. 
anything and then you test the product, compare and contrast them and put down what you like, what you don't like. So being like a food taste tester or quality control, that would be a absolute blast. Okay, number nine, you guys know I taught school for several years. I used to adore, I taught, pre, I taught different grades, pre-K through junior high. Pre-K and kindergarten, first grade were my favorites to teach. It was just really, because I love the little ones. They still love you at that age. But I used to read the kids' books all the time. I would love to work at a library if I was quiet enough, that is. My voice kind of carries. And it's funny because my daughter works at a library. And I said, oh, maybe I should come by and say hi. And she's like, no, please don't. It's because my voice carries. You can hear me everywhere. So I would enjoy working at a library and reading, like doing something with the children program and reading books to the kids and maybe doing puppet shows and things like that that would be a blast I actually miss teaching because I really enjoy working with kids and they're just a lot of fun and they're so creative okay so that would be fun number 10 have a morning show or an evening show but especially morning with um, and do it on the radio like a radio station and do that and you know who I'd love to do that with jam from New York City saves money her and I working at a radio station together and doing a like a morning radio show talking about ways to save money and make your life better. It could, we could be doing something on saving money, better time management, productivity. It could be all sorts of fun topics under that umbrella. Something positive and uplifting and we could do a radio show together. That would be a blast. I guess either Jan has to move to Dallas or I have to move to New York. Okay. Then I put number 11, be a clown. I would love to be a clown and go to kids' birthday parties. I don't know how to juggle, not that I couldn't learn. I'm not sure how to make balloon animals, but hey, I could learn all that stuff. I would think it would be fun having different clown costumes and going to kids' birthday parties and entertaining them. That, to me, would be fun. Number 12, and something you guys don't know about me, I would absolutely love to be a toy tester. That would be much, so much fun. You guys may not know this. I adore toys. I only have one daughter. But, you know, most parents or many parents are like, you know what? They tell their kids, hey, you can't get the toy when you're out shopping. I was the opposite parents. M my daughter would be like, no, we don't need toys. I don't need a toy. But I'd be like, well, this toy's so cute. Don't you want to get it? And I remember once going to a toy store. And I just was losing control, and I ended up spending over $200 on toys. Now, this was a one-time thing, okay? But I played with the toys along with my daughter, but I just really enjoyed them. I mean, there were so many cool things to pick from that I just couldn't resist. So, you know, <laughs> let's put it this way. If you were a kid and you like toys, I'm like the perfect parent for you. So being a toy tester and trying all different kinds of toys. You know, there's so many things that I love. Like, you know, I love math. Well, I don't know if you guys knew this about me. I like some sciences, like I really like physics and chemistry. So I would, you know, enjoy doing quality control, finding out what ingredients are in things, even like cosmetics and learning what is in the product, testing it out. I just think all of these things sound really interesting and really fun. So I want to ask you guys, out of every, have everything I've mentioned, have you either done any of them? And what did you think of it? Would you be willing or want to do any of them? And would you think of it? Would you hug an alligator? You got to answer that question. And are you currently working and do you enjoy what you do? I know I asked you a bunch of questions. Only answer what you feel like answering. I thought this would be kind of fun, but I do want to just say this. Life is meant to be enjoyed. I know sometimes life is stressful. Hey, you can't have everything go perfect all the time, right? But to me, if you're going to be working, we'll say outside the house or inside the house, 40 hours a week, I personally think you've got to have a level of enjoyment and satisfaction. You have to feel like you're contributing and helping other people. Let me know what you guys think. I know I went longer than five minutes, but I just thought this would be kind of a cool video to do. I really appreciate all of you. I love you. And if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. You all know that I love hearing from you and I love your comments. And I appreciate you answering questions when I ask them because it's a lot of fun to see your answers. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.